Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is some of the most outrageous Jewish conspiracy theories from the point of view of a 14-year-old white supremacist. Uh, it's created by Roots Metal and Sherry Ross, uh, featuring lizard people, communists, and Mossad Dolphin. I kind of want an entire comic about Mossad uh, Dolphin. Uh, so I, I read about this. I, I was sent an article about this uh, from a, a newspaper, and I kind of had to check it out. I think this is really intriguing, really interesting. Uh, the, the goal of this is obviously to raise awareness about anti-Semitism uh, and, um, you know, this, this insane conspiracy theories that are out there uh, concerning Jewish people, and I think the comic does a really good job about it. Uh, the story, it, it, from the point of view of a 14-year-old going uh, um, online saying that he wants to uh, reveal the truth about the Jewish people, uh, and he goes through a massively insane conspiracy theory that takes you pretty much through all the hits of today, uh, lizard people, space lasers, time travel, uh, weather control, you name it, it's pretty much in here. And I think what's really great about this comic is it then has a note as to like where this conspiracy actually came from, what's its history, what's its roots. To me, I think that's a really, really smart uh, and intelligent way of going about it, and I'll kind of show how it's done. Uh, and overall, like as the comic compounds the conspiracy theories, it just becomes more and more silly and more and more insane, and it's kind of hard not to just, I mean, for me to see just how ridiculous this is. Um, I mean, I'm not joking where I'm like, they literally send lizards back, you know, lizard people back in time to like place artifacts to, uh, trick people in the future. Like that's part of the conspiracy theory. And I'm sure there are people who believe that. Um, uh, but to me, like that's, it just, it just goes on and on and on. I mean, there's, there's things in here that I've never heard of. And I thought I was pretty like up on a lot of these conspiracies and knew what's out there. But uh, there's a bunch of stuff I didn't know. So I think it was actually really educational for me as well. Uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, then after the comic, there's a long discussion about anti-Semitism, uh, debates about the, the word itself, its history, uh, how to spell it, and then um, the, I just want to get it right, the uh, IHRA definition of anti-Semitism, um, which I know has some controversy and it's kind of interesting. Um, it, you know, it, it definitely comes from a perspective. Um, it doesn't really dive too much into what others believe, uh, but it, I think, tries to make its case, uh, and it makes it f fairly well. Um, you know, it keeps things really simple, uh, as to what this, people that created this, what they believe and how they view it. Um, I, I know there will be people who probably disagree with some of what's written in the back as far as that, but... Uh, for me, it, it comes off very reasonable and, and just is like, no, this is the basics of it. It can be spinned either way, like in many ways, but like this is kind of the point and just the basics. Uh, and that I actually really like. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, there's a, a lot of info in the back uh, with links for references, further readings, resources, stuff like that. Uh, they can learn more about these theories. I mean, the theories, some of the stuff that's brought up, I'm, I'm like, it's just. It's insane. Um, of course, it has like protocols of Zion, blood libel, lizard people, Jews running Hollywood, Bolshevism, banks, um, homosexuality, animal spies, which is the literal thing, uh, space lasers, Kazar theory, which one I never heard about, um, COVID, poisoning the wells, claim to land, old uh, Yeshuv, the Rothschilds, Temple Denial, anti-Semitism online, horseshoe theory, um, which is was really interesting. Uh, it just it takes you through a lot of stuff, and I think it's it does it really really well. Uh, and so to me, it comes off as very educational. Um, you know, it's it's I think it's it's very helpful in that way. Um, the art kind of has like a little Scott Pilgrim vibe to it. I think it's kind of intriguing, uh, but you know, it's it's good. Like you know, the point is educating. You can see how it kind of takes you through the story and then breaks things down, taking you through the history of some of the stuff. Uh, which in that way I think is actually really, again, really, really cool and educational. So uh, as far as, you know, it having a goal, which is to educate about anti-Semitism, I think it does a really great job about that. Uh, and I think it, secondary, it makes it all seem so silly and, and so insane as to uh, some of the stuff that's thrown out there, especially when we compound it all together. Um, so I think it, it does a really, really solid job. Um, you, you can get this from Roots Metal. We'll include a link underneath this video. You should still be able to buy it. 
Um, we get nothing for that link. I think it's just a, a really intriguing way of using comics to educate, uh, and especially educate about hate. Uh, so yeah, if you want the latest comic news, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, and Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.